let's face it, everybody's on their Instagram every single day. Hi everyone, it's Lauren Day and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about Instagram, my favorite topic. And today's video, I'm gonna show you how I grew my Instagram from zero followers to 50,000 followers in less than two years. If you're new around here, my name is Lauren and I am a graphic designer, social media manager and beauty blogger. I'm going to share my top five tips for growing your Instagram organically. So if you want to know how, then keep on watching. In this five part video series, I'm sharing my top five Insta tips and how I grew my Instagram from zero to 50,000 followers. Each video will contain one tip. So here's tip number one. Tip number one, my number one rule when it comes to Instagram is be consistent. I know this tip sounds so simple, but being consistent with your Instagram is going to provide you with the best results. Let's face it, everybody's on their Instagram every single day. So it makes sense for you to be consistently posting high quality content on your Instagram. I recommend posting one good quality photo per day. Maybe four or five years ago, we were posting three or four photos a day. Back in 2011, I remember we were posting a lot of photos. But now in 2019, when it comes to Instagram, you need to make your photos stand out and you need to make sure that there is decent engagement on your posts. If you're like me and you have followers in multiple countries, I usually have followers in the USA, I have followers in Europe, I have followers in Australia. We're all on different time zones. In Australia, it's morning. In the US, it's night. But what I found works well for me is posting in the evening Australian time, which is generally in the very early hours of the morning in the US time. And it's about lunchtime in uh, the UK and Europe. So it's usually about between 8 and 9 p.m. Australian time between 4 a.m. LA time and 7 a.m. in New York time, so everyone's waking up in the morning, and that is usually about the time that it's about 12 p.m. in the UK or Europe. So I find that that particular time frame works well for me because that's generally when people are online, and if I'm posting content at that particular time per day, then I find that I get the best results. Being consistent with your Instagram content means that you're posting at least one good quality photo per day. There is no use in people following your account and clicking the follow button saying, hey, I'm interested in following you, I'm interested in your life and what's going on, but then you only deliver them one post a week. Or alternately, you may be delivering them five to six photos a day. If you want more followers on Instagram, then be consistent with your content. I know it sounds so simple, but your followers are hitting the follow button for a reason. They want to follow your account, whether you're posting photos of your dog, whether you have a business account, they're interested in your product, or they're just interested in you as a person. So it makes sense to deliver consistent content with them. Posting once per day one good quality photo is the best way to get the attention of the algorithm. For example, if you're posting three to four photos a day, the first photo you may post at say 6 a.m., the second photo may be at 12 p.m., the third photo may be at 3 p.m., and the fourth photo at 9 p.m. By the time your Instagram followers are logging onto their account at 9 p.m., which is usually the peak time that most people are using their phones, or maybe at 12 p.m. at the middle of the day when they're on their lunch breaks, then, then they may be not seeing the post that you posted earlier on in the day because your 3 p.m. post or your 9 p.m. post has superseded. So Instagram will favor the most newest post because that's your newest content. Instagram is likely to deliver in the newsfeed your newest post to your followers, which means that the post you posted at 6 a.m. in the morning may not get as many likes because it's been superseded by your last posts. I notice that when I post on Instagram, the most likes that I receive on that photo is usually within the first one hour of posting. I notice this much more on accounts where I have a high 
follower count. So my accounts where I have 30,000 or 50,000 people, I can really see that I get 60, 60 likes or 100 likes or 200 likes within the first hour. So it's really, really important that you're posting at the right time of day and you're also posting once per day to allow your content to actually get likes. There's no point in posting three or four times per day. By posting once per day, you're actually allowing the algorithm to rank your photo. You're more likely for your photo to appear in the newsfeed. You're more likely for your photo to appear on the explore page. Being consistent with your Instagram is the key. I have found that posting once per day is definitely the best for me. For example, one of my Instagram accounts, which currently has 53,000 followers, I started this account in April of 2017. Every day, I said to myself, I'm going to post one good quality photo. I'm going to post just one photo a day, and I'm going to make sure that that's the best photo that I can find at that time. Something that I know my followers will really like. And by posting just once per day, I'm giving the photo more time in the news feed. I'm also allowing time for my followers to see the post, like the post and comment on the post. It's only when your followers engage with your post with likes and comments that Instagram flags your photo and says, hey, this is a good quality picture. We're going to put this on the explore page. Once your photo goes onto the explore page, your photo can get an extreme amount of likes. You want your photo to go onto the explore page. So it makes sense that you only post once per day. By just posting once per day, you're allowing time for that photo to gain as many likes and comments as possible. Once your photo gets onto the explore page, it can stay on the explore page for up to seven days. With my 50,000 followers, usually when I post a photo, it gets between 500 and 1,000 likes. If it gets over a thousand likes, then the post has done really, really well. But once my post gets about a thousand likes, it usually ends up somewhere on the explore page. Once my photo's on the explore page, not only is it visible to my followers, but it's also visible to people who don't follow me. That creates even more likes and engagement on your post. That's where you get your new followers from. So when people see your photo on the explore page, keep in mind your explore page is definitely tailored towards them. So for example, if they like golf, they're gonna see golf photos on their explore page. If they like food, they're gonna see food photos on their explore page. If they're a beauty blogger and they upload makeup tutorials, then they're gonna see makeup photos on their explore page. So finding new followers from the explore page is an excellent way of gaining new followers on your account. They'll click on the photo and they'll go, wow, what's this? They'll like your photo and then they'll generally go and check out your profile and that's when you can get their attention and that they can follow you. So that's a great way of getting new followers on your account. So you wanna make sure by posting just one high quality photo per day, you're allowing the photo to sit in the newsfeed for 24 hours sit on your profile for 24 hours, maybe share the post to your stories as well, then people will know that you have a new post. So if they're looking at your stories, don't forget your stories is visible for 24 hours. They'll be able to see that you've got a new post. They can click on the post and go to your profile and like the post or comment. So definitely by posting one good quality photo per day, it has been the best strategy for, for me to grow my Instagram. I started my Instagram in April of 2017. By the following year, in April 2018, I already had gained almost 18,000 followers. In September of 2018, I was up to 26,000 followers. And just recently at the start of March 2019, I reached 50,000 followers. And all I have done is consistently post one good quality photo per day. This leads me to my tip number two, and that is quality over quantity. In my next video, I'll be sharing tip number two. So be sure to subscribe and stay tuned to learn more about how you can grow your Instagram. If you have any questions about Instagram, pop them in the comments below. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Lauren Day. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos and I will see you guys in my next video.